Hi, welcome to my first video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to draw lips at different angles. I will be doing three different lip drawings at different angles and I also added different colors to just mix it up. I am first outlining with a brown marker because I think using a black marker is a bit harsher than I would like because this is a new art style and I usually don't go for harsh colors. I'm going to take my lightest color and I'm doing pink lips so my lightest color would be like light pink. I would take the light pink and I would shade downwards for the bottom lip and as I'm shading I would make a general outline that I would follow because it is easier to have a guideline while you're drawing. I'm repeating the same thing for the top lip but drawing my guideline first and then shading upward from the innermost lip. So the inner part of the lip should be the darkest part and as you go upward or downward the color should get lighter. Next I'm taking a magenta color pencil which is darker than the light pink and I'm doing the same exact thing that I did with the light pink but I'm not shading down all the way so you do see more of a gradient that is magenta to light pink and I'm repeating this on both sides and I'm just really trying to smooth out the color making sure the gradient is very smooth I'm also really adding a light shadow for the bottom of the lip and the cupid's bow area so I do see more of a shape for the lip because if it is too light it is hard to see the shape of it I'm taking red and I'm doing the same thing that I did previously but I'm not going down as far as I did with the magenta so hopefully you would see the gradient red to magenta to light pink doing it on both sides and I'm taking the darkest color and re-outlining the center of the lip so you do see a line of separation next we're gonna do the last step which is adding highlights finally we're gonna add the lip gloss so we're adding highlights and to find the areas where you want to add the highlights you can either follow what I'm doing here or you can search up glossy lips or lip references on the internet and that would be very helpful for you to find the placement of them a white gel pen is great for this because it lets you get into specific areas and make more details but I don't have a gel pen for now so I'm just picking up paint with a pencil and just dotting it on the areas where I want highlights because for toothpicks you can't really have that good of a grip on them so pencils have a nice grip to it and I'm just continuing doing that on the top and bottom lip I am almost done This is the finished product. Next, I will be doing the second drawing and this will be blue lips with teeth showing at a three-fourths angle. So if the face was turning, this would be how the mouth would look in a way. I think blue lips would be good if you were doing mythical creatures like mermaids. And I already did the outline. I'm tracing it with brown marker. As I said before, I don't want it to be too harsh, so I used brown instead of black. And I decided to leave out the top part, but then I realized that it kind of looked odd if I didn't connect it, so I just connected that real quick. And I'm taking my lightest shade, which is in this case a very light teal color and I'm making the general 
outline of the lip shape and shading in from the innermost part of the lip downward like the previous drawing and I am continuing to do that next I will do the top lip after I finish up with the bottom one and make sure to really add shadows to where you can't really see the color because it really brings out the drawing like how I added a shadow to the bottom lip and I will eventually add to the cupid's bow area and I'm shading upwards next I decided to take a light blue color and I'm doing the same exact thing by adding a gradient so it goes from light blue to light teal and finally I will add the dark purple to the inner lip so it has some more dimension and depth I am doing that to the top lip as well I really do like how the colors look together the purple, teal, and blue and I've loved it for a long time and I've looked for a lot of opportunities to use it in my drawing but I haven't found the chance but today was a day where I could use it and I'm so happy I'm adding the highlights right now and online when I look at many different lip references I've noticed that many of them have a ring of white highlight somewhere along the top or bottom lip so I think adding that makes it look more realistic and it makes it look more glossy in a way That is the finished drawing. Finally, we will move on to the third and last drawing. I decided for this drawing to be a mouth that is open instead of the closed mouth in the first one and the partly closed lips in the second drawing. So I just thought it would be different to draw and it would add a variation to it and it's also going to be a three forks view and this is going to be yellow lip gloss slash lipstick because i wanted to stick with doing the primary colors which are red blue and yellow i thought it would make it more interesting than just doing fully red lips or fully pink lips throughout Now I will start carefully outlining the drawing. So make sure not to do really sketchy lines because when you're outlining with marker or a thin fine liner, you can really see some sketchy lines. There's no problem if you do, but in this case, I generally don't like to add the more sketchy, messy lines. I like to keep it more neater because I think that's what this drawing style suits more. I am shading in a part of the mouth with the brown marker because I like how opaque it is. Now I was doing red at first, that's because I kind of messed up, but you want to grab your yellow color pencil first and sketch out the general shape of the lips like we have been doing and in this case yellow is going to be my lightest shade and I'm sketching I am shading downwards and I'm continuing to do that for the bottom lip and for the top lip it would be reverse so I would shade upwards. The deepest shade of yellow would be near the innermost part of the lip. I 
like to add much more pressure when I'm getting to the inner part of the lip. That's how I get more color out of the color pencil. Next, I'm going in with a orange color because it is darker than the yellow. It's a different shade, but it also matches the whole theme that I have going on. I'm also redefining the shape of the lip so it's more apparent. Finally, I'm doing a red color. I'm not going in with this color too much. I just want to get more depth near the center of the lips. Now we're going to do the tongue, which is basically red and pink as I'm going to do here. First I'm shading with the red color pencil inwards, so the edges of the tongue are going to be the darkest spots and the center of it gets lighter. So after I shade in with the red, I'm just going to go in with the pink color pencil and shade as well. We're doing the final step right now, which is adding the highlights. And as I said before, the ring of white highlight would be very nice to add. So I'm adding it to the top lip. And I'm just adding these highlights in very randomly. But as I said before, you can look online for some references. I'm adding highlights to the tongue as well because I think it would be good to add it there because I do see that in our references there is shine there. And we're done.